Hey guys, this is a review of a little passport science expeditions kit. Comes in a box like this. There's a lot of fun things you can do. In this uh, video, you'll see us do the hydrology experiments, at least two of three of the hydrology experiments. And it's got some uh, previews of some other fun uh, little passports kits. And I hope you enjoy. Please uh, like and subscribe if you like it. Enjoy the video. Thanks. Okay guys, so the first experiment we're going to do here in our video is actually the second one in our hydrology little passport and that is the spinning sprinkler. Um, this one is actually a great one to do second if you do get the little passports because you do have to wait a while for the water filter column to uh, filter through. But we decided we're going to do it a little bit out of order for this video. So we're doing a spinning sprinkler first and we do not get to do the rainbow colored acid test so you'll have to get the uh, little passports one maybe to find out what happens then. So let's flip on over, whoop, all the way over here to the spreading, spinning sprinkler. Now this one does come with stuff in the kit and you do have to have some stuff from home. You don't really need a ruler, you can kind of estimate. but. Um, you could probably do this with things that you have around the house. So I already cut my um, big straws. Um, honestly, if you had like big boba straws, I think that's what they're called, the big ones for the special smoothies and stuff, um, you could probably uh, use those. So I already cut them. And then what you're going to do, as I arrange this, is actually feed the end through all three sections of straw. Do, 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 do. So you're going to do this to all three of them. So it's in a triangle shape and then we'll tie it and we'll come right back. Okay, so now we've got our uh, loose triangle shape. See, it feels very movable. Move it around. From here, we want to take our skewer and we want to put it down so about an inch or so of it sticks out down from the bottom. And then it just says to tie it securely and then use tape to secure it at the top. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then we'll show you how it works. And we're back. So now we've got our little triangle with the stick running through the middle and sticking out for about a half an inch. And this is actually the second time we did it. Um, so you'll see Zach playing it. We got a really cool slow-mo video, but here's what you do. So, oh, my water may not be long, may not be deep enough. You need your water to be deep enough so that it covers the ends, but as you spin it, oh, it's working a little. You can see, there we go, water flings out to make a spinning sprinkler. Spin. So now we're going to do our second experiment, the water filter column. Unfortunately, I don't have a video of when we put it together. I thought I did, but it did not actually happen. So I will show you what it is like when it's, it is all put together. So this is kind of what it goes into about um, how Earth recycles water, how we reuse water. This one's the longer experiment in this section. Um, but this is kind of what we've ended up doing. You. Uh, Put filters in three of them, but not in the first one. After you do super dirty water, our dirty water had some dirt and bits from outside, um, pepper and food coloring. Uh, red, we used red food coloring. And then we did our bag of granite and ultimately did this right here. Um, I do have a picture of it once it's put together and has our dirty water going through it. And it took ours, we had probably 
probably 10 to 12 ounces of water and it and gunk and it took ours about 40 to 45 minutes to go all the way through so a lot more than uh, 30 but we did do more than uh, an 8 ounce cup so if you do get this little passport do not um, empty your filler sections into a uh, paper towel like this a tip is to actually do a separate paper towel for each um, one of your filter materials that way they don't get all mixed together and you can really take a look at what each one uh, has caught it allows you to analyze them separately that would be my big tip for you guys there Alright, so this is our water Wait, column. I don't know. Do you want to put it in? Okay, then no. It's for um, a Nana Cheryl. So this is our water column filter. This was crushed granite, oh, this porcelain is the sand, uh, activated carbon, and quartz sand. And this is what we're dirty water filtered through in that one. There's still a lot more. And Can, then, come on, oh, it's all dripped out of here. So we're, and this is where we're at with our porcelain sand. So we're gonna wait for it to go through. It's already been 40 minutes. minutes. And there's all the water. It can take a while. Yeah. But that is, that's our cup. Yes. So it's our, and then this is the stuff that just kind of settled out as it was going through from our dirty water. It's just a little bit of the water that's left. No, in it. I look don't at that from the top. It's white again. Oh yeah. So it's filtering through some more. Wait, when that drops, as soon as that drops, that will drop. And then the yeah. one will be. Trip that up. Maybe wait for it. And wait for it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Gravity, work with us. Right? Yeah, we could probably use this for a different experiment. So here's what the ickiness that is still left in our filter column from the crushed granite. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of oily because, well, we had put oil in it. And our rocks are oily okay. feeling, too. Yeah, feel the rocks. Ooh, I want to feel all the Ew. So if you feel it, now rub your fingers together. That's oily. Yeah, so some of the oil got stuck in here, too, as it filtered through. So this is our crushed granite. We're gonna let it dry and probably clean it up a little bit, cause ew, and then maybe use it in some other experiments, um, or use it in this type of experiment again, but maybe do it in a different order to see if the water gets cleaner. But this is our crushed granite, and this is what crushed granite looked like to begin with. See how clean and white it was? And then here we'll compare the That's crushed so granite good. to the used crushed granite. New crushed granite, used crushed granite. But look, all of the big particles from our dirty, dirty water. water. Here, we'll use this little hairpin to kind of, so I don't get any Ew. stuff all over my fingers. And looky there, there's all the bigger Can we particles. Take this part? Oh. Uh, let's wait for it to all drip through, because if you notice, don't tap it. Yeah. Sorry, we have science all over the table. It's still dripping. Oh, please let me take Not yet. So. We'll come back in a little bit. So this is the porcelain sand we just poured out. And the crazy part is, is there was a bunch of oil left in the crushed granite, which is right here. But, oh, don't mix them. Oops. It's okay. Uh, this porcelain sand has hardly any oil in it at all. If you touch it and then rub your fingers together, it doesn't feel oily, which means oh, most of the oil got caught in the granite, it was filtered out by the granite. That's crazy. All right, so here in just a minute, we'll move on to the activated charcoal. I'm or, sorry, activated carbon and the quartz sand. All right. Okay, now we're moving on to the... Oh, take it off. Oh, do you need some help? Uh-huh. All right, hold on. Very Can you hold much. this? Make sure you keep it on the thing. So this is the acti... Oh, okay, you intrigued activated me. Activated charcoal. Activated charcoal. So We separated them out because we decided that that would be a better system. There's porcelain sand, mm -hmm. crushed granite, and activated, activated charcoal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can feel it. But remember, we have to wash our hands because some science you can touch, but some you can't. 
this, you yeah, activate a charcoal. Hmm? I'm smell it. Smell it? What does it smell like? It doesn't smell like pepper anymore. No. And so it means really I take no the pepper grease. out. Just There's no burning. grease. Yeah. So according to our science um, thing, our hydrology passport, it says that the activated charcoal, what does it say that it does? Here we go. Uh, bad smelling and bad tasting chemicals are absorbed by the activated carbon. I can't remember why I keep saying charcoal. Activated carbon. Oh, All right. Oh, wow. Quartz I sand. Right and then I hit right here. Uh, Double hearts. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, buddy. All right, ready? Let's quartz mm -hmm. sand it up. You want me to do it? Uh -huh. You want to hold the... Oops, sorry, guys. You want to hold the... Hold the phone. Hold the phone? All right. Okay, the so there's this. All right, and I can do it from here. Then the last step, we're moving on to the water. No way. I only see one thing of pepper in there. One oh, I, I do too. A couple All right, so this pepper. last little bit, what did it catch? So it's still a little discolored, so it's more than just pink, which means there's still some finer particles of dirt in there. Where did that little hairpin go? Oh, I here's. think we went into the jar. Do you want to do the honors? And it got a lot of the food coloring. You can see it's that's extra pink. Uh, it was not originally this pink. Does it smell like pepper? Let's see. It does not. No. It smells very clear like water. And when you rub your hands together, there is no kind of emollient feeling, so there's no oil in here at this point. So that's where we are. This was our, which one was this one again? Quartz sand. Quartz sand. And now, Zaki would like to look at the water. dip a little, or uh, pour a little bit of the water out. Let's take a close look at the water. Let's pick it up. And that is our water. It used to have dirt and all sorts of stuff in it. We want to pour it out so we can see about more what's in it. Um, ooh, go grab me a grab me a plastic Tupperware. You know where the Tupperware is? Yeah. Should be in here. Yes. So we're gonna see. Let's dip a little bit of a thing in here. Let's see what we've got when it wicks up. So it's just pink, clear water. They warned us not to drink it. Smells a little bit like pepper still. I told you there's some pepper. No way, that was a lot more red. At the it beginning. was a lot redder at the beginning. It smells still like pepper. We're not gonna taste it, but we can smell it. Still smells, and still smells like dirt. <laughs> yeah, still smells like dirt and pepper. Didn't work. And they warned us, no, it worked. It cleared out a lot of the debris and the icky stuff. As you can see, it caught the oil and the big debris, some we're of the fighter debris out. and more oil, can other I icky chemicals. Out. Yes, you can go pour it out and the last fine stuff. But this is why they warned us not to drink it. Do not drink. So in water treatment plants, hydrologists take the water through many more steps to make the water safe enough to drink. So it is not safe enough to drink because it still may have microbes and other things in there that could make you sick. And here's your warnings. Do not drink. Do not drink. Do Wash not your hands and pour it out when you're done. All right, so that is our hydrology experiments for now for today. Um, we've got some litmus paper, but I think we're going to wait to have some more things to do. So we'll have to do another science video, hopefully here soon. Thanks so much. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Bye. Here's some of the other experiments from the little passports uh, that we have done. Some of them, I yeah, I don't think we've done any videos on these ones. But every little passports science thing comes with a few, uh, two to three experiments in here, in this little fold out. And each one also comes with a fun comic book looking thing that tells you more about science and has some other activities as well as some other, um, whatchamacallit, experiments and stuff in them, as well as just some fun games.